Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a Sunday sauce. We haven't done one of those in a while, so it's for the collective. Whoever resonates with it, only claim it from your higher self and for your higher good if you're going to claim it. And if you're not, no force fitting. Leave it for somebody else. Yeah, sharing is caring. Wherever you are on the planet, shout out to you. We're very aware that you've taken the time out of your day to join us, and we're very grateful for that. Whether or not anybody else has told you this, because everybody needs to hear it, and some people never get to. Delilah Tiberius said, I love you, and it's a fact, and it's unconditional. Before we hit this, could you please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe? It is very, very important to us, and we are very grateful for it. Whether you do or you don't, though, we are still said to you love, light, happiness, wealth, abundance, to infinity and beyond. Lastly, if you want to get in contact with me, it's on you. I will never reach out to you, nor will anybody I know. So if anybody does and they try to say that, they're full of shit and they're trying to rob you, so call them on it. If you want to contact me, my information is in the box below. I don't care if you want to say hello, book a reading, ask a question, send a picture of your pet, make a donation, whatever it is, you have to hit me up. All right, let's hit this. We have the Godfather Tarot out for Sunday Sauce. Clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, I will call out the most predominant signs that surface. However, we're working with energy, and it is fluid, right? Here we go. Show me the energy. Let's see how we can help somebody today. Hold on, we got an issue. All right, here we go. Show me. Show me. All right, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Turning in somebody's favor here. Sagittarian energy for good luck, good karma, and decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. And don't forget, we just switched over into the North Node, which is your destiny. So a lot of people are getting this energy. You also have a Six of Cups. So Six of Cups talks about people, places, and things from the past, right? Maybe a visitor from the past, maybe nostalgia, sentimentality, whatever it is. You know, this half of the planets are in retrograde. Maybe you and a friend are going to go out for some kind of a drink. I'm hearing Ciroc. Ciroc. <laughs> All right. Somebody from the, from the past could be coming back around. Show me. Show me. All right. Here we go. So we have, okay, you have a four of wands. Four of wands talks about having some kind of a celebration. Four of wands is Aries energy for some kind of excitement, um, maybe some kind of social gatherings, family, friends, and most importantly here in this read, some kind of reunion. All right. Crowning you, you have a devil. You have some kind of restrictive energy that wants to hit you in the head. Something or someone that wants control over you. This could be somebody from the past, okay? So be careful of this that now wants to celebrate with you. Like I said, everything's in retrograde. Capricorn energy here. So the the, the devil is anything binding and constricting. Like I said, it's control. Like if you, In other words, if you were addicted to drugs, the drugs would be the devil because they have the control over you. So this could be a codependent relationship. Any kind of... Um, yeah, any kind of toxic energy that you could think of. Show me what's coming in. Yeah, you have you have the chariot. Somebody's got a goal and a focus. They're about to overcome any obstacle to get to it. Again, this is a card of somebody that wants some kind of control over something. They're determined, okay? So somebody's determined here to get some kind of control over you. And I do believe that um, they're going to try to do it maybe by trying to bring you out and celebrate like in a happy way. You know what I mean? But really, it's a, it's, it's a bullshit because they're trying to trick you to get some kind of control. Here, you got conflict. So you have, you know, the five of swords here. This is about somebody wanting to win at all costs. There's a defeat level here. Um, the five of swords talks about conflict, arguments, hostility. So you might see right through this and start like bucking up and arguing with this person. All right, maybe, the, you know, some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be getting a new vehicle here. Could be going on some kind of holiday. Somebody could be taking you on some kind of vacation or out to have some fun for a couple of drinks in order to uh, be careful anybody trying to slip anything in your drinks. I'm telling you right now, people, or, you know, soften you up to cause some kind of conflict and to gain some kind of control. I'm getting a very nefarious energy with this. I don't like it at all, all right? Here, now you have the three of pentacles in reverse. 
So in your energy right now, this is a lack of teamwork, okay? This is not teamwork makes the dream work. There's no cooperation and no effort here. People do not have the same shared goals and collaborations, all right? So watch out for that. It's a solitary energy. This is somebody that wants to work by themselves. This could be you or somebody else, okay? Somebody might want to have control. Oh, okay, Spirit and Answers, listen. Somebody might, you know, somebody from your past might want to have some control. Could be maybe over your finances here or something that you do for work to try to steal something from you or maybe they're going to pretend to be your friend, load you up with alcohol or something, maybe take you out for a little fun. In the meantime, it's all manipulative and it's going to cause some kind of conflict. Somebody here, possibly you, doesn't feel like you want to work with somebody and you certainly don't want to give anybody your work ideas. Here we go. What do we have here? We have the seven of wands. So stand your ground. Listen, this is advice from spirit, okay? This is about standing strong and standing your ground, being resilient and per yeah, persistent. Don't let this person infiltrate anything, okay? Don't be stupid enough to fall for this. Somebody wants to go for a drink, tell them to go for a drink by themselves. Especially if it's somebody from the past. That maybe, you know, was toxic in some way because they still freaking are. They want some kind of control and, you know, they're screwing around with your destiny here. Don't let somebody come in and take your destiny. I don't care what they have or what they say. All right? They want some kind of control here and they're pretty determined. It's going to cause a conflict. I don't think you're feeling it. And Spirit's telling you, stand your ground. Be strong and defend yourself and whatever you have here. Here, it's the King of Cups. You're coming out in reverse. So, yeah, the bad thing about the King Cups in reverse is this is somebody who's emotionally imbalanced. This is somebody who's not very diplomatic or devoted. This is somebody who lies, cheats, they blame it on you. They're very, um, the King Cups in reverse could be very emotionally manipulative, withdrawn, controlling. So, this is somebody that has water in their chart that's probably trying to do this to you. You have all the suits on the board. So, be, you know, it could be anybody. Uh, any, you have Sagittarius, Cancer as the most predominant. Yeah, Capricorn. So, you know, here, there's a page of coins. So there is some kind of offer coming in. I don't think it's going to be an offer you can't refuse. I think it's going to be an offer that you can. This could be an offer for a new job or some kind of new financial endeavor that maybe somebody's going to, like, hit you with after they get you out and soften you up. And, um, yeah, lower your defenses. I'm getting lower your defenses. There's some kind of new beginning, though. You do have something passionate. Maybe you're doing something passionate and somebody wants to come in and get, get in on that. Like, off of your work. I'm, I'm seeing, like, somebody piggybacking on somebody else here. So be careful about that. Piggybacking. What the hell? All right. So somebody's making some kind of plans here. Maybe to travel. I don't know. There's going to be a shock and a surprise. Somebody's going to lose their temper here. I'm going to tell you what. So be careful with this. Yeah, guys, let's get you a couple of letters and we'll let you go. Thank you so much. Listen, anybody coming in trying to steal your ideas or pick your brain for any reason at all, whatever it is, this is a toxic person that wants some kind of control. And you got two E's. You got a T. I'm hearing teeth. You have an O. You have a G. I'm hearing get out. <laughs> get out while the getting is good. I really am. I, oh, let's see. L. D. What do we have? Three E's. What else? Why does it surprise me? We have, okay, we have an F, two E's. I lied. We have an I, O, two T's, a G, an L, and a Z. I'm hearing gold digger. There's a gold digger here. Somebody trying to, yeah, get out while you can. Get on your feet and go. <laughs> this is what I, they want to feed off of you. All right. Always remember, leave the logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light, people.